In this video, we would see how to configure in Maven to download the artifacts or dependencies from JFrog Artifactory instead of external remote repository. We also will see how to resolve 401 unauthorized issue while downloading the Maven dependencies from Artifactory. And we would also see how to solve the issue of could not transfer artifact on because of blocked mirror for repositories. For example, our Maven builds are running in the client machines. So here, if we don't have Artifactory, our Maven will download the required dependencies etc. from remote repository. Once the Artifactory is configured in our internal network, then we can configure in Maven to download the required artifacts directly from the Artifactory virtual repositories instead of from external repository. Now let us see how can we configure Maven in client machine or CA servers to download the artifacts from the Artifactory virtual repositories instead of external repositories. Let us start. This is an example project. This contains the pom.xml and the source code. Let us open the pom.xml. So this is the pom.xml for the project. Here we can see the group ID, artifact ID and version and also we can see the dependencies. So whenever we build this project, so the required dependency will be downloaded from the central Maven repository. Not only this dependency, for executing the builds, we have several plugins and all the plugins which are needed will be downloaded from the central maven repository. So where can we find this information? So that default information we can find from the maven website. So here we can see super form. Here we have the repository section and plugin repository section. So whenever we don't configure any internal repositories in our maven, then this repository section and plugin repository section will take place. That means all the dependencies will be downloaded from this default repository, which is a central Maven repository. And also the plugins will be downloaded from the same URL. So now to use Artifactory, we need to override this repository section as well as the plugin repository section. So to override the repository section and the plugin repository section, we can do in two ways. Either we can update in the form.xml itself or we can update in the Maven settings.xml. Generally, we update in the settings.xml, which is common for all the projects. So now let us configure in the Maven settings.xml. So now let us go to the Artifactor website and we'll see how the Maven repositories will be configured. For that, I am searching for Artifactory Maven repository. So here we need to click on this link. Here we can see a link for resolving artifacts through Artifactory. We can click on this. So here this is the section we need to copy and we need to paste in the settings.xml. So let me copy this content. So I am pasting the content here. Here we have two sections, repositories and plugin repositories. In the repositories, we have two subsections for Maven releases and for Maven snapshots. For releases, snapshots will be disabled. And also for snapshots, the releases will be disabled. Here we need to copy the Maven releases repository of Artifactory. Similarly, here we need to copy corresponding snapshot repository of Artifactory. Same way, here also we need to change the URLs. So now let us log into the Artifactory and we will get the URLs of both Maven releases and snapshots. So now we have to go to the Artifactory section. Under this we need to click on Artifacts. Here we can see multiple repositories. We have already seen in the previous videos how to create the virtual repositories. So if you want to know how to create the repositories, please follow the link in the description. Now let me click on this virtual repositories URL. So now we can copy the URL of this repository. So let me paste here and also I will paste the same under plugin repositories as well. So now we have copied the releases repository URL. Similarly, let us copy the snapshot URL. So click on snapshots and here we need to get the URL. So now the content of repositories and plugin repositories is ready. So let us copy and paste in the maven settings.xml. So let me open the settings.xml under user.m2 directory. So now let us create a new profile for this artifact of repositories. So here let me copy this active profiles. So we need to create corresponding profile in the profile section. So here we need to mention the ID. So the ID should be the same active profile here. So 
So now under this profile, we need to copy our repositories and plugin repository section. So now a new profile is ready in the settings.xml. So now let us try to build the example application. So let us build this example application. Let me open a command window here. And let me execute maven clean install command here. So now we are getting an issue. So the issue is blocked mirror for repositories. So what this means is that, so this is a default HTTP blocker. Here we are using HTTP URL for our artifactory URLs. So that is why it is not allowing. So how to solve this? So let us go to the settings.xml. In this settings.xml, we have the mirror section. So in the mirror section, by default, there is a mirror called Maven Default HTTP Blocker. So this mirror will block all the HTTP repositories. That means we cannot download any dependencies from external HTTP URLs. So one way to allow our artifactory HTTP repositories is by commenting this mirror or the better way is to exclude our artifact repository IDs here. So here in the mirror of tag, we need to exclude our religious and snapshot repository IDs. So let us do that. So here we need to exclude central, so which is the ID of religious repository and also snapshots, so which is the ID of our snapshot repository. So let us save this file. Now execute maven clean install command again. So now we are getting another issue here. Here it is saying 401 unauthorized and also authentication failed for our HTTP URL. So that means our artifact is not allowing to download the plugins or dependencies. So for that we need to go to the artifact URL and we need to change the default setting. So here we need to go to the admin section. Under this we have user management. So under user management we have to click on settings. So here by default the allow anonymous access is disabled. So we have to enable this access and we have to save. So now the anonymous users can download the artifacts or dependencies from artifactory. So let us execute maven clean install command again. So now from the output we can see that all our plugins and dependencies are being downloaded from artifactory in stock external repository. So now our build is successfully completed. So now we have allowed the download of the artifacts or dependencies from artifactory repository URLs. We also need to do one more thing. We should not allow the download of the dependencies or artifacts from the URLs other than artifactory URLs. For that we need to add additional mirrors here to allow the downloads only from the artifact URLs. So let me copy the mirror section from the JFrog page. So here I am adding the mirror for religious and snapshots. So I have copied the URL of the religious here. So here the mirror of star indicates so whatever artifacts we will try to download, all the downloads will happen via this religious URL. So here I need to exclude the snapshots. So now all the artifacts excluding snapshots will be downloaded from the religious URL. Same way let me add one more mirror here. So here for snapshots, I will specify the snapshots URL. So now by adding these two mirrors, we will ensure that all the downloads will happen via the artifact URLs instead of the external repository URLs. So in this video, we have seen how to configure the settings.xml to download the artifact from artifact URLs. And also we have seen how to solve the issues of 401 unauthorized issue and also the issue of blocked mirrors. We have also configured the settings.xml to download the artifacts only from artifact URLs in stock external URLs. I hope this video is helpful. 
If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.